Welcome back to the Beers Illustrated Mix Six Pack. Again, um, I'm talking to an amazing graphic designer who if you've gone to a brewery or a tap house and bought some of their merchandise, you have probably picked up this man's work. I am today speaking to none other than Emery Greer from Thirsty Merchants and Demographic Design. G'day mate, how are you? Very good, yourself? Yeah, really good, thank you mate. Cheers. Cheers, good to see you. You yep. too. There's always one important question to ask first, Emery. What are you drinking? It's all about the beer. Uh, today I'm having Brick Lane Lager. Okay, yeah. Uh, just because I haven't tried it before. Yeah. So yeah, no, it's pretty good. I'm liking it's, it. Yeah, it's usually always a, a big consideration. You look at a tap list and go, what haven't I had Haven't before? I had? Yeah, I'll have that. Yeah, it's a nice 4.8%, so it's a nice way to kickstart the day. And yourself? Uh, today I'm actually having the Sailor's Grave Drowned Man IPA. It's something that I've been waiting a long time to try. I haven't seen it around. So yeah, good cool. to, to finally get to try it. Oh, that's good. It's amazing start. as well. Mate, you work for a few companies in the industry. You've got, you've got a few interests uh, out there. Um, tell me about them. Uh, currently, I'm working, I've basically got a freelance design service called Demographic Design. Yep. And so there, and then I also have another side project or a side company called uh, Thirsty Merchants. Uh -huh. So yep. one's design orientated and the other is probably more product um, application based. So merchandise, basically in the, in the craft beer industry, we specialize just for craft beer and the yep. hospitality industry. Mm -hmm. And we take the brand, any logo, and put it onto any item, um, big or small. Yep. And then demographics concentrates on the actual design of the actual brand itself. So they really do just cross pollinate with each other, which is really nice, nice yeah. crossover. Yep. Handy to have that workflow from one to the other. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's really nice, kind of taking the design and looking at the design, but then actually taking it through to a finished item. Normally, we do that with the the print application, whereas with Thirsty, it allows us to do the print, but also take the screen printing t-shirts, embroidery, uh, large format, whether it's got to be umbrellas or large scale mural work um, or bespoke items like tasting paddles and, and uh, handles and the like as well. Yeah. So there's a real there's a real array of, of uh, materials that we actually finish up with at Thirsty Merchants. So it's really good. Cool. So you're really shaping the landscape of what we see when we go to a tap house or a bar like this? Oh, I hope so. Yeah. 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 We get we get a good touch point on a lot of different products. So yeah. So it's it really is just taking that logo through to its final completion and just trying to do it in different ways as well. So once you're close to the brand, and particularly if you've designed the brand, then it's great just to explore the different applications and finishes as well. So that's really good. Nice. So um, walk us through that long and illustrious list of clients that you've uh, done all of this stuff for. Uh, the local market, since I've been in yep. Brisbane, and um, pretty much started probably well close to five years ago now with yeah. the, the mill on Constant Street. Yeah, uh, amazing nice logo. Look. Oh. Great, I really enjoy the yeah, air. It's a great little bar, um, yeah. and then yeah, taking that logo was probably the first introduction. They actually worked. I worked around the corner from there, so it was my local. Yep. Uh, so I convinced the owners there to change the the logo, the then said logo. So that was a really good introduction, a good starting point. Great, great bar, as I say. Yeah. Great, great start. Um, and then my I've done the Horny Wombat, which is a small microbrewery. Well, it's more of a, a home brew kind of thing. So. Yes. Yep. I used to brew there on a Friday afternoon and then the owner asked me if I'd change the logo, do it as the Horny Wombat. Um, so that was my first kind of introduction to the brewery side of it and since then I've done Four Hearts Brewing. Um, yeah, amazing monogram you did for them. Lovely, yeah. It was a really, really uh, challenging project to try to get as much into that, uh, that monogram, that, that, that logo mark as possible. Yep. Being four hearts brewing, it was it was a challenge, but I think yeah, I think it was quite successful in the end. So, really happy with that as a as a, as a brewery logo type, and then taking it through to its application. So, uh, working on a brewery at the moment of the Sunshine Coast, which I'm really excited about at the moment as well. Can't say too much on that one. Also, help out the guys at Ether, uh, yeah, Ether Brewing. Yep. So, help out those guys with the cans and some of their design applications, and also help out Brewdog as well with some of their the launch into Australia. So, yeah, that's an amazing client to grab. Yeah, it's great. I love great love working with them. Awesome to see where they're going to take it. Uh, it's going to be very exciting times for Brisbane and the local craft beer industry throughout Australia. Very so, much so. Yeah, yeah amazing, amazing brand. So that's a great one. And the rest of it's probably more bars oriented. So from taking from the mill, working through to some of the local bars, the Oxford Tap House, yep. um, and then Copperface Jacks, the Banter Bar. Um, done a bit of work for the Glen Hotel. Yeah. And uh, also Hellsby's Ale House, where Hellsby, we find the, ourselves um, now, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's a beautiful location we're in as well, and this yeah. mural's amazing, mate. Uh, the Pineapple Hotel, so this, this is a really an interesting project because 
We've taken a traditional hotel, Brisbane Icon, um, a pub that was 150 years old, and they've taken the front bar, which is the, the traditional front of house bar, which is the locals bar, and they've actually turned it into a craft beer bar. So. Yeah. Uh, Les and the guys have got there, they've got about 16 beers on tap, so there's uh, quite a big array of beers. So This was a really exciting project because we went in for the namesake. Um, Hellsby used to be uh, a local who lived upstairs for 30 years in the pub, so there is, there is a reference to him there. We've, we've created a fictitious character around Hellsby himself, yeah, yep. um, but then taking that brand, and this is probably a good instance where we see how uh, demographics designs the logo and the branding and its application and then we hand it over to thirsty merchants and then we come in it's basically just putting on a different hat um, and then look at the brand application so we take it from the traditional aspect of like coasters t-shirts staff uniforms uh, bar runners yeah. um, the tap handles which are made out of wine barrel staves which we laser engrave um, and because there's 16 taps, we've got like things like the, the big menu system there. So there's obviously the 16 beers on tap. So it's yep. a lot of rotation of beers. So Thirsty will come in there and we'll actually design a menu system that's it's kind of like steampunk to some degree. And yep. it's on a crank. It comes down, means it's they can yet. change, cool. change the nice. load, change over the beers and crank it back up, which also announces the fact that there's a new beer. Mm. And then that goes into position. And uh, things like then taking it to the large format with the with murals and the mural behind us, yeah. yeah. So it's it's a real hands-on approach with Thirsty of actually taking it to all of those different touch points. Thirsty also do the growlers and squealers, so we print yep. on the growlers and squealers. Yep. Um, and then that glassware, like we can see there, actually works really well as a display item as well. Yeah. So yep. Yeah. So it's it's it's, it's yeah. It, Hellsby's has been a really interesting project, really fun project to work yeah, on. Been, for sure. Um, and we've even done like things like the custom artwork on the walls if anyone's yes. seen those there's uh, really ornate frames and there's references in there where it's really oldy worldy and then there's just a modern twist on it you might have a guy with a headphones on and he's listening to an iPod or something like that but it's it's a Victorian era kind of graphics yeah yep. so yeah so that's yeah that's pretty much the local market of what I've been doing nice comprehensive very cool thank you <laughs> so, so mate tell us a bit about yourself tell us about your background uh, my background, well I'm Irish and I basically, no. I get away, I'll tell you, <laughs> <laughs> you never guessed it. I'm, not, I'm actually a plastic paddy as I'd refer <laughs> to now because I've been, I've been out here for over, well over 20 years. Yep. Uh, so I started my design life in Ireland, uh, straight out of school basically, so I've been doing it since I was 18, so yeah. long enough. Um, so yeah, I went to university in Ireland and I went, carried on to university in London where I'd done a degree in graphics and worked in London for a while, met my wife in a pub in London and uh, came back to Australia just in time for the Sydney Olympics and... You sound just like a regular Australian backpacker, mate. Well, that's is it, yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't take much to persuade me to come back to Australia for, for a while. Well, not, I didn't expect it to be this long, but yeah. Uh, so yeah, so we, uh, basically they ended up in Sydney just around the Olympics. So everybody, every designer in town was basically working at something related to the Olympics. Um, yep. So I worked there, I worked in various size studios, design studios, interiors, graphics, uh, advertising agencies. Uh, and some of the work that I was doing there was really interesting because I, I, I got in on an advertising agency where we were we just in just at the launch for Dan Murphy's and BWS. Okay. Um, so I helped doing the branding projects on the likes of, of, of those projects and Virgin Australia. Mm -hmm. So some of those high-end corporate, corporate brands that we we're doing, that's, that's kind of just lent itself. So I've always been doing uh, identity work for retail orientated clients mostly yep. um, but I did actually do cut my teeth I guess on the bar trade in London when I was living there as a student I used to as I say live in a pub um, yep. and then I used to actually go around to the pubs and kind of do blackboards to start with and I was doing logos for pubs so it's kind of come full circle uh, now that I've kind of on that corporate wagon I guess it's just rolled yep. back into yep. the same line so it's quite cool so yeah it's, uh, it's been exciting. So yeah, that's, that's, that's me in a nutshell, I guess, in design. Okay. Um, so mate, what's your favorite style of beer? My favorite style of beer? Yeah. I'm, I'm probably what you'd probably classify as a lawnmower drinker, I guess, to some degree. I really do like the summer, the summer style beers. Yeah. Like, I guess yep. uh, I, my first ever craft beer was Little Creatures Just Blew Me Away. Yeah, um, and, and it was an, an amazing start for a lot of people into, into the, to the, the good beers that we've got now. Most definitely, yeah, and I, I managed to make it over there about 2009, I think it was, so it was around that time when 
made it into the brewery over there and that kind of really summed it up for me what was actually happening and how big that was and where it was going but yeah like I'm not in Pacific I'd be a Pacific Ale man just nice. because it was some, yeah. real summer kind of beers because obviously I'm Irish so coming over here it's hot every day so yeah, I'm yeah every day is summer for you Every day summer for me, especially in Queensland, yeah. <laughs> but no, like I do I do like all the diverse styles. I like the tasting sessions, but when they start getting up hop hopped to like your tens and twelves, I'm yeah. Irish, so I'm in it for the long run, not the yeah, short. But yep. yeah, so yeah, no, it's good. It's very exciting beers out there. Yeah, definitely. Um do you listen to music while you work, mate? Oh most definitely, yeah. Yeah, yeah? definitely. I think that's what are, what are probably, we so oh, I think I think every I'm pretty diverse. I think every job has almost got a an ornate uh, soundtrack to some degree. Yep. Uh, it just just develops. It depends on the job. Some of it could be really just hippie, easy, easy listening. Uh, Donovan Frank and White or just some, some kind of easy, easy tunes. But then you do something like well, I'd work on something like Brewdog, and I'd, mm. I'd straight away the soundtrack for that was the Sex Pistols. It just 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 awesome. kicks in for yeah, that, and just yeah. just crank it and work it. And so yeah, it, it, var- it varies project to project. Everyone has got a different soundtrack. Yeah, it depends on the mood, but yeah most definitely listen to music yeah brilliant yeah. awesome well Emery thanks for coming in today mate um, cheers for the beers and um, always always a good time talking to you mate and um, I look forward to seeing more uh, come out from Thirsty Merchants as well as Demographic most so definitely. thank you very much no thank you thank cheers. you thanks, mate. excellent good to see you and um, make sure you go and check out the Beers Illustrated Facebook page to keep up with what's going on also go over and like the Beers Illustrated Instagram and uh, subscribe to the YouTube while you're at it. Go on. Alrighty, see ya. Bye. Cheers. Thank you, mate. Season two is going to be fucking great.